Okay, additional information. We have an annual sewer manhole replacement and rehabilitation program. We try to line the manholes uh, with a, a liner that's got a minimal 10 year life cycle, which means they probably last 20 or 30 years. If we have to replace it, we replace it. We do a minimum of 30 manholes each year. Approximately 135 have been done uh, so far. What we do is we have different groups that go out and do inspections when they're going out checking on a, a, a call or something. They'll pop the manhole cover, look you? inside, look inside the manhole, and see what kind of condition the interior is. And then they take pictures of it and they rank it as severely deteriorated, needs immediate attention, needs attention soon, and so on. So we rank them, and that generates a list. Uh, uh, we're currently in the fourth phase of uh, manhole. We developed the list for the next group. We actually, we, we, a minimum of 30. We've done, I think, first year we did 30, next year we did 35, next year we did 35 too. So it depends what we find. how many manholes we got. We got about 6,000 manholes. But not all need to be right. rehabbed. No, not all of them need to be rehabbed. And it's just like the, the sewer system. We got a lot of sections that are fairly new subdivisions. We don't really have to clean up gaps, the only thing we have to worry about there. The lawn mowers right over them, knock them off. And, but uh, so we know we've got parts of the system that are in good condition. So we're trying to focus on, on those. Uh, and out of those 6,000, I think it's yeah, 6,000, uh, we've probably inspected close to 4,000 already. So that's an ongoing program too. But again, what we focus on are areas where we've had failures or had problems. Those are the focal. Pump station replacements, the sewer lift stations. Uh, we do uh, about five million. We have a dedicated to that program. We have like we have 28. All 28 don't have to be. Uh, eight of them are fairly fairly new and not brand new. So we've got 20. We've completed 12 uh, of those 20 so far. We're currently we've got the next four that we develop a bid document for. But after July, we're going to get that pot of money again. And we'll develop that next list, and that will be complete by December 28. And we also have two list stations that are being rehabbed, two, the two small ones and the fourth main project. So, and then we've got emergency portable generators, uh, 250,000 uh, allocated for that, uh, and that's one. And this was part again part of our consent order. <clears throat> we purchased one generator each year, uh, starting in 2014. And in the first year, last year we did purchase the first generator, but in addition to that, <clears throat> we wired every lift station with quick connect so that you can pull that generator up and plug it in wherever you need. You never buy a generator for every lift station. Because it's going to sit there, it's going to get old, it's going to get worn out, and the reason they're portable, you can take them where you need them, because not the whole system is going to go out all at once. And even EPD recognized that. <clears throat> 